All right, so in this video, we're gonna go through sample question 39 from the Society of Actuaries, exam P, list of sample questions. All right, uh, the question reads, a company prices its hurricane insurance using the following assumptions, and it's three things. In any calendar year, there can be at most one hurricane. In any calendar year, the probability of a hurricane is 0 0.05. And last, the number of hurricanes in different calendar years are mutually independent. Using the company's assumptions, calculate the probability that there are fewer than three hurricanes in a 20-year period. Okay, so this is a super easy question. These assumptions they gave here essentially are a checklist for seeing whether uh, you're dealing with a binomial random variable, right? You either have a pass or fail. There is a hurricane or there isn't, right? You have a fixed number of trials, 20, right? Uh, you have the same probability with each trial, 0 0.05. So we're looking for the probability that there are fewer than three hurricanes. So it's going to be the sum of a few different probabilities, right? The probability that there is exactly zero plus the probability that there are exactly one hurricane plus the probability that there are exactly two hurricanes but not the probability that there are exactly three because we specified fewer than three hurricanes. Three is not fewer than three, okay? You should be familiar with the equation for a binomial random variable, right? For, the, for finding like the probability of um, that. And that is, uh, I'll write it like this, probability of x equaling x is equal to um, n, which is the number of trials, choose x, which is, you know, uh, the probability of one happening, two happening, three happening, three to four successes, five successes, that kind of thing, times the probability, P, of a success raised to the x power multiplied by Q, or one minus P, which is the probability of a failure, raised to the n minus x power. Okay, so we're going to fill these in for each of these. So the probability that uh, of, of zero hurricanes, that's going to be 20 choose 0 times uh, 0.05 raised to the 0 power times 0 0.95 raised to the 20th power. This is 20 choose 1 of 0 0.05 raised to the first power times 0 0.95 raised to the 19th power, and this is 20 choose 2 of 0 0.05 raised to the second power is 0 times 0 0.95 raised to the 18th power. Now I find the answers to all these and sum them up, right? So uh, I'll just kind of show you how I put in my calculator because I kind of do it in a very specific way uh, where first I'll store 0 as x. Right, and this is kind of just for purposes of speed, I'll use 20 as n, but x is the thing that's changing with each time I do this. So this is going to be 20 choose x, right, times 0 0.05 raised to the x power times 0.95 raised to the n minus, which is 20, so 20 minus x. And anytime I want to do a new one, so th this is especially helpful the more you do, uh, I just plug in a new value. So for when x is equal to 0, so the probability of 0 hurricanes is 0 0.3584, and then some more decimals, uh, plus uh, exactly one hurricane. So what I do is one stores X and I just grab that equation and it switches all the values and that's 0 0.37735 and that's some more. And then two stores X, grab the same equation and that's 0 0.18867 and that's so. So I add those up to figure out the total probability of three uh, of, of fewer than three. So two, one, or 
zero. Right, so I just add those up by grabbing the values from above. And I get a probability of 0 0.92451632. Now, this question rounds to two decimal places, or not the question, but the answer choices rounds to two decimal places. So approximately 0.92, okay? So overall, very easy question. Nothing too complicated about it. You recognize, hey, binomial distribution. I got a pass-fail scenario. I know in my head I have memorized the, um, the formula for getting the probability of a binomial distribution, and I just use it. I use it for all of the discrete situations it talks about, which in this case, fewer than three, these situations would be uh, two hurricanes, one hurricane, zero hurricanes. I add them up. All right, so hopefully if that question was confusing, I cleared it up. Um, if this video helped you out, hit the like button because it definitely helps me out. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. I promise. <laughs> if uh, you want to see more worked out problems, I got a playlist. Check that out. But other than that, good luck, guys.